and welcome to Kids Craft Camp. My name is Emily Blue and today we will be learning how to make this super cute shrinky daisy keychain as well as these adorable little daisy earrings. Alright, let's jump into it. For materials today we will be using this matte shrink film and I will be cutting it out with our Cricut cutting machine so I have a Cricut mat here ready to go and we also have this gold hardware here this is for making the earrings or you can make it into a keychain with something like this gold chain here. For the keychain version I also used the glitter glue the art glitter glue and this biodegradable glitter which I think just makes it cute but for the earring version we'll be leaving them with the hole in the center. I'm going to be using this toaster oven instead of a regular oven. It's really important that you do not use a convection oven setting around 350 degrees. So we will get that started here and start. All right, well that is preheating. I will get this cutting. So I'm gonna use one sheet of our shrink film and I will put it on our cutting mat. This is a fresh new cutting mat so it's nice and sticky. Just make sure to get that perfectly aligned with those outer lines and that is ready to go. All right, let's go over to the computer. So I've already got my file loaded into my Cricut canvas. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the Leah Griffith logo and then we will click make it. This makes one keychain and one pair of earrings. And I'll just go ahead and rearrange them so they'll fit on our eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and click continue. Once we're in here, we're going to want to use the plastic packaging setting. This uses the fine point blade, so that is already loaded in there, ready to go. So I've already got my Cricut mat loaded in, and I'll just click to start. Awesome, this is good to go. So we'll just take this right out of the machine. And you'll notice that these are pretty big and they are going to shrink significantly once we put them in the oven. If you're having trouble getting the material off your mat, you can just roll the mat like this and they come off nice and easy. We're just gonna pop this out. They're pretty easy to pop out once the machine has gone through it two separate times. But sometimes you can get a little bit of residue and if that happens, we'll just cut it away with some scissors before we shrink it. Be sure you cover your Cricut mat again with the clear plastic or else it will not be nearly as sticky next time you try to use it. And once those are ready, we have got um, a little tray here and this is just gonna go right in the oven. And I also have, this is a really great tip, I have a nice book that's just gonna plop right down on there. As soon as these come out, we're just gonna drop the book right on top of it so that they get nice and flat. So we'll arrange these on here. And then we'll put them in. These are gonna be in for only about 45 seconds before they're done. So we'll watch them watch them go. I think these are done so I'm gonna get my book ready to go. Smash it down. And then we're just gonna wait for this to cool off just for a few seconds. All right, time for the big reveal. Ooh, they look perfect. So you can see how much smaller they are now. So two of these are gonna be earrings and one of them is going to be a keychain. So I'm gonna try and figure out which one of these shapes will fit the nicest over the top of our whole one. Looks like this one is pretty good. And this glitter glue works perfectly. So we'll just make sure we don't get it anywhere where that hole is not gonna be. And then I'll just snuggle it up in there. And don't worry about any glue coming out. We'll clean that up here in a second. So I've got a little wire here and I'm just going to clean up around the edges. You can use a Q-tip for this or a wire. All right, and now we'll just set that aside and let it completely dry before we add the hardware and the glitter. For the earrings, we're going to be using these little jump rings. They're so cute and small. And you can use two pairs of pliers for this or you can use your fingers in a pair of pliers. It's kind of nice to use two pairs of pliers because you can just get right in there. Oh, 
And there we go. Then I'll just close her up. So if I put it on with one jump ring straight onto the earring, these are gonna sit sideways and I want them to sit forward. So I'm gonna add another jump ring just to give that extra sparkle. So I'll add one more to each side and then we'll add the earring loop. And we'll just do this right at the same time. And close it right up. And you'll wanna make sure there are no gaps when you close this or else they'll just fall right out. And there's one done. So cute. And if you're like me and you accidentally squish your jump ring a little bit too much, it's super easy to fix. Just go ahead and open it back up and then we'll just get it in there the right direction this time. I'm too strong for my own good. There we go. And now we have a super simple, cute pair of earrings handmade by you. All right, so if we wanna add some glitter to the center of this daisy, I'm going to use that glitter glue again. This dries clear, which is super easy. So we'll just put a big dollop of that right in the center quite a bit because we want to fill in that little circle there and then I've got my wire I'm just gonna twirl it around and get that glue nice and flat all in this hole and just be super careful that you don't get this on the edges because the glitter is gonna stick anywhere this glue is and this is where it gets a little bit messy but this glitter is biodegradable so it's okay cute and we'll let that dry and when it's all dry we'll just blow the glitter right away and it will stay where the glue was okay now that's all done i just wanted to show you another option so for this keychain i actually made it a little bit bigger when i was cutting it in cricut and to do that i just resized it just a little bit and drag out the square so it was about four inches before i started cutting and that makes it about this size versus this size and i think this is a really great size for a keychain but maybe a little bit too big for earrings and to put the hardware on this guy, it's the exact same process as putting it on the earrings. You're just gonna open up that jump ring with the two pliers and put it right on there. And it's good to go. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you're feeling extra accessorized now. Be sure to join us for our next Kids Craft Camp. And for more projects, check out our full Kids Craft Camp library.